Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1977 Yamaha U3, which uh, has been completely redone. And I've sold so, so many of these, these U3s, and I'm super proud of them. They, they, um, I love uh, having yet another one each time out in the community. Um, I'm just really confident in, in the pianos. And, and even more importantly, I'm really confident that, that what I've given my customers is an excellent value, just a fantastic piano for less than half of what it costs to get a brand new one. And a, when I say fantastic, I mean, I mean it's like a brand new piano cosmetically and functionally. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you what, uh, what I'm referring to there. So as a general rule, depending on use, pianos have 10, 20, 25 years, something like that, of, excellent top-notch use, of course declining, deteriorating slowly each year. Um, they last forever, they last you know, 80, 100 years, but, but they really have an excellent service. The parts really only have, again, 10 or 20 or maybe 25 years of, of excellent service, after which everything has to be refurbished. Um, everything from, and I'm really referring to the inside, but the outside also takes a, be a beating in, in really basically any environment, it's going to get at least scratches and sometimes more than that. So um, why don't I start with with cosmetic, the cosmetics of, of this piano. Um, again, for a 1977, you would expect to see at least something, but that's not the case on this piano. There is nothing, no damage whatsoever any, anywhere. It's been completely redone and polished. It's like it's it's like it's absolutely brand new cosmetically. So um, let's just kind of look it over. You know, usually there's at least yeah, this is a this is a really good shot right here. I mean, I mean it's like a mirror. Uh, it's just so perfect. Usually, you see at least little scratches um, right here. People put you know, the books right here and they lean against there, so usually you see little scratchy marks right here. Nothing, 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 nothing of any sort kind of damage anywhere. It's, it's just cosmetically perfect. Okay, then on the inside, same thing. You, what you would expect to see um, is, well, first of all, a piano that's very dirty, but then also um, things are out of alignment and um, just generally not functioning correctly. Um, things will be, glue joints will be um, separating and things will be out of regulation, all of those kinds of things, all of which can, can be taken care of um, by people that know what they're doing. And so uh, that has entirely been done. Um, the Yamaha U3, I love this, love this size, 52 inches, which is a great height. It's, it's pretty much the biggest upright piano that is manufactured post um, 1930. I think maybe I've seen a 54 inch, but um, that's very, very rare. Generally, 52 inches is as big as it gets. Of course, everybody's seen those monsters, those old grandma pianos that are that are from pre-depression era that are from 1900 or 1910. Those are another several inches, but those haven't been manufactured since the Depression, since before the Depression. So, um, and actually one, one more thing before I, before I play this piano. I actually, I used to um, play professionally just for like weddings and things. It was just something that I did for fun. Um, and I, decided that if I'm going to do this for fun, because, because what I got paid was probably enough to cover my gas to get there and back, if I'm going to, if I'm going to go to the effort to, um, to, to do it for fun, then I'm not going to play an electric piano, because I do not like at all electric pianos. And so I decided I was going to get a piano, um, a real piano, that I was going to and get a trailer and just keep the piano in the trailer. And whenever I had a gig, which, which at the time was like twice a week for, for a few years, I would just hook up my truck to the trailer and just go. And then I would, I would just deliver the piano basically on my own to every gig that I had. And I was um, in my early 30s at that time, so moving a piano by myself was no problem. Um, 
and it was a U3. It was a Yamaha U3. It's it's just the um, kind of ideal piano for for um, anyone. I don't know any anyone that, that this piano wouldn't work for. I would say the only the only reason not to not to get this piano um, would be if you like maybe a different cosmetic. If you like the turn of the century ornate pianos, those those can be great. We we rebuilt we've rebuilt a lot of those, so those those can be great pianos too. But what I'm I guess what I'm trying to say is this piano is the complete package. Check it out. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.